Hi everyone, it's Kev here. I've come out here today for a little ride and just to talk about my new Cinco wireless microphone that I've purchased for doing a little bit of motorcycle vlogging and also to use on my new Canon uh, SX70 camera. So there's a few pros and cons, but mostly pros. Um, I, it, it, it records really well, and for the sort of thing that I'm going to do, um, I think it's a really good uh, wireless mic. One of the, the real pros is that it's quite a bit cheaper uh, than some of the other brands, um, significantly cheaper than the Rode wireless mic, um, which is, you know, a good quality mic. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's really good quality, but this Cinco mic will do everything that I want it to do. So I've been doing some tests with it in the bike, on the bike. One of the cons with the Cinco mic is that as, you, as you'll see in this little clip here that I've put in, the clamp where it clamps on sticks out a little bit further than the stitch line on the Insta360 camera that I use. So that's a, a little bit of a, a pain. I did see one guy on YouTube who'd uh, cut that thing off so that he could fit it onto his, to his Insta360. I don't really want to do that, uh, but I've made up a little bracket here on the bike so that I can have a wire coming down that you can't see, it's still, still invisible. And just a little bracket where it sits there it's clamped on it can't come off so that's but just uh, take that into consideration if you're thinking about buying one of these you won't be able to clamp it to the side of the Insta360 1x2 camera like you can with the Rode mic so that that was one thing that was a bit of a downer with uh, with this mic having said that it's really probably the only the only thing that, that I didn't uh, like about or I was a bit disappointed about it, I should say. I've been testing some microphones in the, in the helmet and the first test that I did was with the lav mic to see how that went. Oh, there's a bit of dust blowing around there. And the lav mic worked reasonably well at slow speeds and I'm going to play a clip in a minute so you'll see that it worked reasonably well at slow speeds once I got the speed up a little bit um, it all broke up and it didn't seem to work as well that might have something to do with the fact that I turned the gain up uh, a bit and that probably didn't help much so there's three little demos here one of me riding a little bit slower uh, doing some cornering and uh, when I stopped here at the, at the place here where I'm, where I'm recording this and at a faster speed with the visor up and the visor down uh, you'll see a bit of a clip there so yeah just, just have a listen to these and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about just waiting for the traffic very busy road this on the weekends So this is just a test ride with uh, the Insta360 camera and the microphone setup that I've got. So yeah, just hoping that it works all right. I've got the little lav mic uh, attached to my helmet. Good to know how that all sounds, see whether I've got the microphone in the right place. I don't know, there might, there might be anything on there. There might, might just be a whole lot of noise and... Well, the thing might have fallen off, I, I don't really know. I'm pretty sure it's still secured where I secured it to. like it's been raining out here.
Yeah, so that's, uh, I've got the visor up now, so that's where we we're at. We're just at the top of the ridge and I've stopped here at this little west area. We'll have a bit of a break here and I'll show you how I've got the camera set up. Hopefully this is recording all right. Don't know whether you can hear the motorbike or not, but all those sort of things I'll be, I'll be interested to hear myself. So the next thing that I did was I put the receiver inside the helmet here, which it fits in there quite good and it seemed to work reasonably well. Um, it's probably not quite as good as I'd like it to be, uh, but it did seem to work. So again, there's a, a bit of a clip here, some clips here of me uh, riding along with the visor up and the visor down and so you'll hear the the volume and what it was like and how good it was or how bad it was. So let's see what that sounds like. So just doing 100 k's now as we approach town. Coming back in, slowing down now. See what that sounds like. Slowing down to about 70 k's now, heading off down to 60 k's, down to 50 k's. About 50 k's we're doing now, so as we ride through town. So that's with the helmet down. Over to the left, we have Mount Taranaki. Um, well the shot that you shot that you can see now is actually from a little bit of video that I took a couple of weeks back, and we just had some fresh snow. I was on the Vs from doing the same sort of test. I'll just put the visor down and see if that, what sort of sound that makes. And one of the clips is of it on the Goldwing, which of course makes a big difference because on the, on the Honda Goldwing I've got a, a big screen in front of me, there's, there's virtually no wind, and I found its speed at, at 100 kilometres an hour uh, I could talk and you could you could hear me quite clearly. I did a, a bit of a ride out to one of the little lakes out the back here, and I did some uh, talking on that, which you which I've put onto the uh, clip I've put onto this video, so you can hear that. And yeah, it's, I, I was pretty happy with that. It seemed to go all right. The next thing that I tried was a little microphone that I got off the Samsung earphones that came with my Samsung phone when I brought it. And uh, dummy me, I didn't realise that the little piece that's in the middle here on those uh, earphones, of course, is a microphone. I, I, I never knew that. I've, I've never used them, never used them on the phone, but of course it, it would be a microphone. And there was a fella on YouTube who cut the earpods off and uh, his was the one for the iPhone and he used it in his helmet, it seemed to work pretty good. So I did that, I put that little microphone inside the helmet here and got it uh, attached up to the cheek pad on, on the side of the helmet and that seemed to work quite well, I was, I was quite pleased with that. Here's a, here's a bit of a clip of what that sounded like. Riding a motorcycle is one place or one machine or road machine that you definitely don't want to be distracted. You don't want to be distracted on, in any vehicle at all, of course, but on a motorcycle especially. And it's very easy to lose your concentration and the next thing you know you're running up the back of someone or you're having to brake hard because you weren't watching what you were doing. And it stopped recording yet again, so yeah, there's definitely not something not right there. I'll have to have a look at that when I get home, get it reset. So we're doing 100 k's, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit colder out here. Just uh, trying out my new summer gloves that I got. Nice fit, nice and light. 
a little bit cool this evening though. Anyway, that's at 100 k's, just over 100 k's, so goodness knows what that sounds like. I'll we'll find out when I get home. Just heading off out into the country here. Some nice jersey dealings on the left hand side there. Beautiful cows. So I have my Insta360 set up on the V-Strom here and at the moment it's not perfect. I'll, I'll get it a little bit better than this. I've got a coiled cord on here and then I've got it coming down onto this little bracket that I've made which is holding, holding the, uh, the receiver for, for the camera. And on the gold wing, well I just had my three meter selfie stick which I uh, put a couple of cable ties on around the crash bar and you can see here that it's just taped to the to the mirror. Uh, it seems to work all right I've, I've done a couple of videos with with it set up like that on on the gold wing already. Yeah so that's um, that's the setup that's what I've got and I hope uh, you've enjoyed the video and there's some information there about what I've done. I know it's not perfect and if you do happen to be watching, if you've got any pointers or you have know of a really good uh, lav mic that I could try, there is one, I can't remember what the brand of it is now, but there is one that I've, I've um, bookmarked uh, on my computer which I'm going to get from Amazon, I can't remember what it's called now. But uh, the reviews on YouTube on it were quite good, so I might try that one. So if you've got any tips for me, any comments, leave them in the, uh, you know, make the comments down below. Um, if you are new to me and you haven't seen me before, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, it all helps. Not that I'm looking to uh, become a huge YouTube success or anything like that, I'm just doing this for fun. That's what it's all about, having fun and putting videos up for my friends and family. So, yeah, that's, that's about it. Catch you next time. There's a lot of dust blowing around here tonight. I don't know how good this has come out. <laughs>